Hey, CDM Game Guys, what is up? It's JD here once again, and in honor of the game Skyrim, which will be coming out this November, um, I probably should have looked up the exact date, so now I look like a total complete idiot, like I don't know what I'm talking about. But, whatever. Anyway, I am going to be playing a Let's Play, slash walkthrough, slash talk about Skyrim, blah blah blah, why I play Oblivion. So, I'm going to go through Oblivion. Um, so this is the first episode of my Oblivion Let's Play. Um, in this one, I'm not just going to talk about the gameplay. I'm going to do just like some commentaries over it. I'm going to talk about basically everything's going to be related to the company Bethesda and Oblivion, Morrowind, any of those type of games, like that genre of games from them. Um, I will be giving pointers in Oblivion and just random ass shit as it goes along, but I don't know. That's That's like part of my main focus, but not all of it. I just want to put that out here. So I'm playing a Dark Elf, and I'm going to make basically a Battle Mage custom class for him. Um, I want to be a Battle Mage because I like magic, but I also like beating people with nice Sharpie on shiny objects. So, yeah, I guess Battle Mage was the perfect option for me. Um, my guy, my name is God is Coming. I was going to put some dumbass, retarded, perverted name, but then I figured I want to keep this uh, family friendly. But knowing me, my language will not be fucking friendly, family friendly, just like that example there. But um, yeah, the only thing I don't like about the dark elves is you can't like change like their hair color. It's always got to be like gray. I want to make it like I don't know, just look stupid. But whatever, got to deal with some of this shit. Um, so yeah, quickly here, I just want to while just doing the basics here, going over like the looks and stuff. If you haven't played Oblivion. Go pick it up. It's like nothing anymore. Pick it up for Xbox. Pick it up. I don't have any of the expansions. I'm just playing normal Oblivion. I have beat the expansions before, but I lost all my shit for them, so. And I don't feel like trying to find them or anything or buy them again. Because. Just doing all these Let's Play of Oblivion are probably going to take me up to somewhere around when. Um. The Skyrim comes out. Because I'm going to try to get most of them filmed during the summer. During this month. And then I'm going to try to release them till up until like the day Skyrim comes out. And when Skyrim comes out, the day, I'm going to try to release a Skyrim video. Hopefully that goes right. Probably won't because i got to start in college next year. And my schedule is kind of all, not really all over the place, but it's kind of weird. So, um, who knows. But I'm going to try. I like how this guy chirps you and you get out. If I, if I was back in medieval prisons, I would just start pushing all the rocks just to see if there's a secret entrance after seeing this. Of course, you wouldn't be seeing this back then because you wouldn't have computers. But as this little thing goes through, um, you'll basically be able to see, so I'm not going to talk much about this right now. I'm going to talk a little bit about our, my YouTube channel or our YouTube channel because it's not just me who runs it. My brother does some content. Um, a couple of my friends do too. So, But I just seem to be the one producing most of it because my friends are really busy right now and my brother's away. And my brother's just lazy and retarded and fights with me half the time, so he doesn't get anything done. But anyway, um, please remember to sub to it. I'll say this probably at the end. Give us a thumbs up. And on the comment question of the day, it's going to go in right now. It's going to be, are you going to get Skyrim? And what do you think about Bethesda? And one second, there's one final comment. It's got nothing to do with Bethesda. What do you think about Diablo 3's controversy in game like trading actual money for items like there's gonna be an actual auction house like World of Warcraft and then there's gonna be an auction house that's like World of Warcraft auction house but you don't trade in-game gold you're trading in-game money a lot of people hate this but I just quickly want to point out my point of view on it it's kind of just random how I'm talking about this my point of view is yes Blizzard's gonna take a fee it's not gonna it's gonna be like the auction house they're gonna take like 10% of the money so if you put in five dollars they're gonna take 10% of that or something around that line they're not gonna be like Here's money. Charge you money. They might add another fee in there, like a 3% withdrawal fee. They're going to make some money there, but it's not like they're going to charge you the ass. Yes, there's going to be undercutting, but there's undercutting in the game. Like some might, people might offer you this item, and another person will be like, well, I'll trade you this item for that item. It's, it's undercutting in the game, so who gives a shit about the undercutting? People will pay if they want it. People won't pay if they don't want it. One cent or one dollar isn't going to make that much difference. Eventually it's going to sell. When that guy sells, then yours is going to sell. And on top of that, it's like, well, this is going to ruin the game. No, people are already doing it through, like, out of game, through websites. So why not do it in-game and make it, like, legal 
and everything for you to do in the game and not against terms. Oh, whatever. I don't know. And a lot of people are like, well, they're just going to sell OP uh, weapons and make the game like so you, someone can just start and all of a sudden be, hi, no, it's it's literally not, Blizzard's not posting like something like Runes of Magic where it's like, buy this potion you get 30 x 30,000 bonus XP. No. They are literally making it so I can put an item up and then you can buy it. That's what I'm gathering from it. Um, leave your comment on it too. I would love to hear your opinions. Anyway, I just realized I make a lot of hand motions when I'm discussing something. And no one can see it, so it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah. So, like, basically, if you don't know the start of this game, well, then where have you been the past how many ever years? I don't know. You basically are escorting the king out. He gives you the amulet, and then you gotta go on and find some people. There's gonna be a bunch of episodes of this. Um, so just sit back, watch it, subscribe. Um, yeah, this is basically a tutorial. It's kind of boring. I forgot to save. Like, what I recommend doing is after you're done the tutorial, save when you're in the sewer before you exit. And confirm everything that way you don't have to do the tutorial again you can just go there and create a new class a new character and stuff I totally forgot to do that so I'm gonna have to go through the tutorial again if I want to make another character in oblivion that just sounds like a pain in the ass anyway I was talking briefly about my channel um we're gonna I'm restarting my blog which is terabytes which I'll leave links and stuff on my channel and I'm also starting a website up about it well everything will kind of be all on the website and yeah i'm also starting live streaming i'm having a little bit of trouble with that right now but i'll give you more information on that when i gather it um i have a couple more videos to come out in the near future of lol and world of warcraft and team fortress 2 and some total war just a whole bunch of different games that i'm working on so yeah i hate lock picking in this game on the computer they should have made it a better system it's one of my complaints about this game but i love the graphics for its time i had to lower them a little bit so i could play on and record at the same time because the recording software was drastically decreasing my frames per second so um unfortunately this is the end of this video i know i really did not talk much about the gameplay or anything but i'm pretty sure you can see it i just want to get some stuff off my chest next one i promise to talk more about the actual game and some other shit but anyway remember to answer the comment questions um go back in the video if you want to see them again i don't have really time to repeat them or i would and um favorite us like us subscribe to us you know all that good stuff um and yeah peace out this was the first episode many more to come peace out gamers